Hi guys, it is Cara the Bubble Lush. So yesterday on cycle day two, I told you that I was going to be talking about my pills today because I am pill popper now. Now that I'm starting my medicated cycle, it is all about the medicine. So, oh, and for those of you that are wondering that watched yesterday's video, today I'm much better, much better. Okay, so this is what my pill box looks like. Hmm? Hmm? So it just sits on my counter, super nice like. And the great thing about it, Tuesday is missing because today is Tuesday, so it is still in my work bag. I love this one because, um, you can see that there's little holes on the bottom, you just push up, and they come right out. And then they lock back in. So it's great if you're going on like vacation or something, you just take the days that you need. It's great if you work, you can remember the night before to throw the next day's container in your purse and you're good to go. So this is Wednesdays and I'm going to do this because this one has the Femara in it. So I take one, two, three, four, five, six-ish different types of things. <laughs> that sounds like a lot, but really, uh, I feel like I sh could be taking more. I don't want to though. Just for the record, I hate taking pills. Hate them. So I take medicine, I guess, three times during the day. So Three times a day, I take a 50 milligram of metformin. I'm gonna do it like a beauty guru, okay? Can you guys see that? That's a metformin right there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Also called um, glucophage, see? <laughs> I watched like one beauty video today and I can't, it's so funny. Okay, and then, <laughs> Um, then three times a day I take a uh, fertile CM. This is, what, this is what it looks like. Just a little capsule. This is, this is what the bottle looks like. It's by Fairhaven Health. Let's do a fertile. You too can have fertile CM with fertile CM from Fairhaven Health. Enough about that. Um, so I take, like I said, three pills of the Fertile CM, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Three pills of the Metformin, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. One at each, one at each. So now we're up to six pills a day. Um, I take a tiny little, it's orange. It looks kind of cream, it's orange. This is a chewable, low dose aspirin. It's 81 milligrams. This is Up and Up brand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I had a couple left from when I was trying to conceive Hannah. They don't expire until 2012, so I figured finish up the bottle and then I guess I'll see what they're selling nowadays. But um, this, I only took this one cycle with Hannah, or one cycle when I was trying to conceive Hannah, and I did. So, can't hurt. And then, um, so I usually take that at breakfast because it's just easy to remember because it's a chewable. So I just pop it in and while I'm going. And then at night, so at dinner, I take the metformin, I take the fertile CM, I take this bad boy. Oh, let me set these down. Mm hmm. You see all those minerals? Yes. This is my prenatal vitamin. You see how giant it is? Really big. It's chewable. <laughs> um, I had a lot of questions back in the day about, do you have a chewable prenatal vitamin? You must share. Okay, so I get my prescriptions filled at Target because I like the red bottles. They're pretty much useless. I, I can't figure out what to do. I have a million of these things, but um, I just like them. And I like, I'm purple and Chris's blue, green, I don't know. So my chewable prenatal vitamin is called Prenatal 19 Tab. That's what it's called at Target. Uh, the manufacturer is Cypress, C-Y-P-R-E-S-S, -S, and then it's P-H, probably Cypress Pharmaceuticals. And that's what I'm going to guess. And uh, yeah, that's their generic for a chewable prenatal vitamin at Target. Or at least on my Target, it's been the same one. And then, last but not least, right before I go to bed, I guess I lied, I take pills four times a day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, bedtime, is the piece de la resistance, 2.5 milligrams of Femara. Femara, Femara, I don't care how you say it, as long as it makes me grow a follicle. So I take three of these and they are super tiny. I mean, look at them compared to 
my prenatal vitamin. Look at that. Okay, so that's it. And the only other thing that I keep in this pill box is one um, little extended release Tylenol, rapid release. Yeah, it's a rapid release Tylenol. Because sometimes at my office, they, we have like fluorescent lighting and it, I'm staring at a computer all day and I get headaches sometimes. So I usually keep one Tylenol in there just in case, especially for the ride home. And that's it. Uh, I feel like I should be taking something else, like some herbs and tinctures and I don't know, something that you like grind with a mortal and pestle, mortar? Mortar and pestle. I don't know, I feel like I should be doing more, but I got my metformin. That's gonna control my um, insulin resistance or whatever. I'm gonna, I take my fertile CM so that you too can have fertile CM. Um, I take my uh, letrozole, 2.5 milligrams, and uh, I take my prenatal, because that's very important. I've been taking that for a couple months now, and that's it. That's it. All right, so if you have any questions, leave them below. If you have any suggestions of, Carla, you must take this. Tell me what it is, how you take it, and why do you think I should take it? And if it's not something that I can chew, if it's something that I have to like, it's a pill I have to swallow, especially if it's a big one, you really have to justify it to me. You gotta sell it, because I hate, I hate taking pills and I'm already swallowing a bunch of them, so you gotta make it worth my while. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. By growing this channel, you're making it easier for women that were just diagnosed as infertile or for women that are going through fertility treatments and need support to find these videos and to find this support community. And that's what we're all about spreading support, education, and most of all, baby dust. Lots and lots of baby dust. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. It was awful. Awful. To the point where, you know, you call the doctor and you go, how much bleeding is too much? When should I be concerned? At what point am I going to bleed to death? <laughs>